It's now our third day at Schoolie Palooza and we've been having a blast. We haven't been filming very much because we've been spending a lot of time with the people here. We had um, a dinner with two other couples last night, so I made homemade enchiladas with rice and beans and apple pie with crumble topping for dessert. So it was really fun to have um, Maria, Jose, and Chase from Tio Aventura and Pamela and Jim over for dinner. So today, <laughs> We're just working on random projects. Mike is helping someone with their solar system and I haven't seen them him for a couple of hours now. So let's go find out if he's back from town. Over here. Yeah, hi, Harris. Hi. How's it going? Pretty good. Did you get the right one? I think so. Yes, we did. Look, panels. Panels you got your corn cop glasses on. She did. Look, yeah. look, yeah. look. I got my new hat, so I look like a 50-year-old never grew up. You totally look that way. So the solar panels are on. Yeah. <laughs> Right? It's now day four of Schoolie Palooza and we're having a hard time staying focused on filming because we're spending so much time with awesome people here. Yeah, the associations out here is really cool. Like everybody wants to come up and see the bus, but more so they just like, everybody's kind of sharing their stories and, and just like living in their buses and stuff. So it's kind of cool to uh, meet all these different varieties of people and see how their lives are going. Yeah, it is cool. So we're gonna share a few school buses with you. Yes. This was flight. Oh, sorry. sorry about that. Yesterday I was in the middle of cooking. Oh, nice to meet you again. Oh my <laughs> pleasure. gosh, this is stunning. I appreciate that. Wow. Let's come in and take a look around. Don't mind the mess. My beanbag chair that usually sits here is down outside, so this a little empty. Outstanding. Look at this. Who did all these paintings? Did you do this? A good friend of mine named Gary. She did them for me. She actually did the artwork on the outside as well. Wow. Oh, I can do the building, but I can't do the, uh, my goo with the pen and pencil. So yeah. unique. Oh, you have a full shower in here. Sure do. I'm sorry I'm helping myself no, to like do. just looking around oh, no, your no, home. No. Take a look around. It's, um, it's an 04 Thomas Bill. Uh, MPC. This is huge. Uh, it is 32 feet with a Caterpillar C7 Allison 2000 series transmission. Uh, I've got 400 watts of solar, which is way underpowered for the 700 amp hour batteries I have. 84 gallons fresh water, 64 black and gray. Uh, it's got a 30 amp shoreline connection, the alternator isolator line as well. And then uh, I've got two 20 pound propane tanks, which actually I used your video for reference for. That's uh, awesome. Something about the, the actual <laughs> tensioner system. And I actually just purchased a 2000 watt generator for extra power since my solar is not quite up to snuff, mm -hmm. but right. the generator is four hundred dollars versus the solar upgrade of fifteen hundred. So right, you got everything yeah. covered. So. Kyle, oh, yeah. I love you. One second. Are y'all Bussy McBus face? <laughs> 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 I saw y'all roll. Me, and my wife, like our center table, like a lot of our uh, any any kind of like influence of video y'all would do, we took it in advice. <laughs> I'm sorry, awesome. we're both peeking out of your eye. You? Where are you? Right here, this shorty right here. Oh, the shorty, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm so sorry, but I just had to say something. Oh, no, can we come over and check it out? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Kyle. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> cool, <laughs> what made you choose to live in a school? It's actually a multiple things. Um, so, my parents have always brought me out camping and stuff like that. I remember my dad bringing home the first RV and uh -huh. my mom loving that. I was surprised. Um, so I owe the groundwork to that to my parents. It was actually my grandfather passing away. I was working a corporate job. Uh, I was an IT administrator for a multi-state uh, conglomerate. Uh, limited time off and stuff like that, so I decided to reprioritize. Work didn't become second anymore, it became third in my lifestyle travel second. Three years of applying, I finally got the United States Antarctic job as an aircraft rescue firefighter down there. And once that hit, I knew I was going to be able to break into that field and work six months to a year at a time overseas. So, no point uh, in paying a mortgage or rent and stuff like that every month. 
So at that point, I've already done and seen a bit of research on these uh -huh. for the price and the mobility. It really just made complete sense. You know? That's awesome. Now it does make it complete sense. Dude, pleasure meeting you. Pleasure, one. guys. <laughs> thank you. It was an absolute pleasure. Yeah, I wear these same you. Hakes boots, man. Yep. Oh, wait. Uh, how very do we find you on social media? Oh, you can find me on Instagram at Flight Risk Schooly. All right. Thank All you right. very much. We'll oh, see you. Absolutely a pleasure, guys. Thanks, man. I'll be joining in a minute after get this pancake batter figured out. Right? Rock it out. <laughs> Okay, so this is it. a work in progress. Oh, yeah. oh, no, it's lovely so far. I see yeah, no exactly paint. what's going on here. It's yeah. just still fresh and raw. Yeah. But so. you have everything built. Yes. And you did your cabinets the yeah. right way. Mike's going to be so proud of you oh, when he comes I in hope here. So. I hope so. <laughs> did you raise the whole floor or was it no, already so, like this? No, so we got lucky because with the... Um, the handicap door. Yeah. The floor was built up. They make it yes, raised. Yes, they made this one. And I don't, I've seen a lot of shorties where they don't have this step up. So I don't know why this model, it's a it's a 2005, so I guess they just needed that little extra bump. Yeah. We love it. It's just an extra step. Yeah. So. And it totally works keeping this all so you have a totally flat floor exactly. to work on. Oh but my um, gosh. yeah, we actually finally put in pistons yesterday. This oh, not having to hold it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, big difference, right? It feels luxurious. Exactly. <laughs> but yeah, the day after I did it, my wife was trying to get clothes out and she was still holding it. And I was like, baby, don't Did you see it. he built yeah. his cabinets the right way? Like, yeah. Oh, that's I a knew, huge deal. I knew you would be so proud. And this was so easy. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. Uh, like, yeah. It was just getting the dimensions of the roof was the biggest oh, the biggest yeah. struggle, this curve. Oh, yeah. And, uh, the choir, man. So, yeah, we need to finish our roof, all our woods right there. Um, but we, we just wanted to get out there, so we made it livable. This you bed have actually plenty is. Plenty uh, of space yeah, back here. It's, it's got two long drawers that pull out completely uh -huh. Uh -huh. and this actually goes to about a twin size and uh we we cut our oh God, it is really big back there. we yeah. cut our cushions so that we can make it into a little day bed Pretty or it pulls all the way out oh, as a queen okay, size bed gotcha gotcha yeah so you guys are full-time okay, cool. yeah since october full-time uh yeah, we've just been working in national parks, just uh, going around. Really? Yeah, we actually just got a job in Lake Powell up in Page, oh, Arizona that nice. starts next month. So, so what we, are you going to be doing there? Uh, it's a it's called Lake Powell Paddle Boards, and uh, they rent kayaks, paddle boards. We load them up, and we have a truck trailer. We take it out, and we just show you a map and, like, where you're going, when to come back. We help you. Uh, uh, but people come in with, like, Jeeps and stuff, and we'll load it up and then help them unload and just make sure they have everything they need. And, cool. and they just feel like... They know where they're going. They pay you and they give you a place uh, to park? Yeah, we get a concrete pad, electricity, oh, no water, kidding. everything. Oh, nice. Yeah, we kind of lucked out. Ooh, um, that's a good one. Family owned, yeah. and so we're stoked for that. So if y'all happen to go that way, please come out. Yeah, we just started uh, an Instagram. It's uh, a... Nevaeh underscore nomads. Nomads, yeah. Really? So this is Nevaeh. It's our little slice of heaven. Heaven spelled you know, backwards. backwards. Right. Yeah. Oh, um, I get it. Okay. Yeah. I already had so a guy help with the pistons. Um, Adam across over there helped me get my solar controller. So now I actually know where my batteries are at. Oh, nice, nice. So we got that all set up and no, it's just been great. Yeah, it's, been awesome. it's a great yeah, atmosphere yeah. out here, oh, we, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. We love it too. Why do you live in a schoolie? <sighs> Man, um, simplicity, I guess. Uh -huh. uh, we just, you know, the daily grind. We were working, like I was 911 EMS for the last five years. Oh. What do you do? Uh, EMT. I'm a nice. Yeah. Respect. That's what I so. do. Worked through Harvey, worked through COVID. I mean, she was a full time server, and then with everything shutting down, we were like, what are we doing? We'd always talked about this, and we were like, why not do it now? Like, what's, what's the, there's no excuse. Oh. No excuse. So we literally sat down, and we were like, okay, why not to do it? We couldn't think of anything. So we were like, we started every venue we could find, and we found this in Austin, Texas. Really nice guy, super transparent. It was just too easy. Wow! Uh, it was, it was so just you just too... followed that path yeah. because it presented yeah, it itself. Yeah, it did to you. exactly. Yeah, that's okay with me. Uh, please take your shoes off when oh, we get to the wood. Sure. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. What are y'all doing today? Yeah. Very good. This, this is, is so cozy. I love it. <laughs> I love this stained glass. Oh my gosh, I had no idea what a treat I was in for. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do. Um, I've been making those in here. I put the saxophone, uh, the purple one down there. I put that in last really? week. Really? So. Oh my gosh. Okay, I have to take my shoes off and come in. <laughs> okay, I have to get the stained glass in here. Yes, Nina made those. I yep. can't that's believe this. Very loves to do that kind of stuff too.
And then this one down here, oh my gosh. Yeah, that's the one that their dad made. Yeah, my dad made that. That's beautiful. It was next to his front door at his house, and uh, after he sold the house, you know, he wanted to keep it in the family, and I'm, I'm very proud to have it. Oh, yeah, yeah it's lovely. This is really oh, cool. Yeah, Everything yeah. is really okay. beautiful in here. Hold I'm sorry, I'm like totally no. just filming around you. That's cool. As long as you don't mind, I'm just sitting. No, there. you're lounging like a princess. It's kind of fitting with the whole look of the bus, you know. So did you see the stove here? Yeah, I did. Pop stove, so like so classic. Cute. I love it. So my one quick question I like to ask people is just very simply, why are you living in a school bus? <laughs> well, I'd lived in a van before, and. Uh, I did that for two years and decided I wanted somewhere where I could stand up and entertain. So I met Sina on a farm um, mm -hmm. a little over a year ago and we fell in love and decided to get this bus together. Right, okay. Yeah, we sold our cars. So you actually went upsized in. to a bus. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. yeah, and I had been living on this farm in Georgia, so when it was, you know, nice weather, I was sleeping in a tent outside because I preferred to. And this uh -huh. is nice like that because we have all the light coming in. and it's. You really it's, feel a lot closer to the outdoors in yeah. it, don't yeah, you? So That's what we early. feel like, too. Yeah, and are you guys on social media? Oh, yeah, I'm on Instagram. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's... Uh, stained glass schoolie with underscores between words. Oh, okay. okay. Stained glass schoolie underscore between words. Perfect. Yes. All right, guys. Thanks for showing us. Yes. All righty. Thank right you. Right on. We'll come oh, back for a tour later. Awesome. Um, did you build this yep. bus? Yep. And you did the roof raise and everything uh, yeah. yourself? Yep. Wow. Yep. It's very yep. impressive. Took me two years to make the, the Okay. Bus. The question we like to ask everybody is why do you live in a schoolie? Uh, because uh, I wanted to be nomad and uh, free for the maximum of my life so this is why I, I chose a schoolie and a school bike because it's huge and I need some space to uh, Plenty to of live. space and it's on wheels so you yeah. can take it wherever you go. Yeah exactly. That's yeah. perfect. Okay. Yeah. For can we see the inside? Yeah, sure, sure. Thank you. Oh this is really nice. <laughs> it's so big in here yeah, with the so roof big. raise. Oh my gosh. Doesn't it make it, it makes it feel bigger this way having the tall ceiling like that. Wow. Yeah, it really does. Yeah, and it can use, use different. Oh my gosh. Look at this awesome barn door with the full bathroom. Oh my gosh. There's a full size shower, sink and composting probably toilet <laughs> look at the steps does this go up to, go up go to, to the, the deck? deck oh my gosh this is the first one of this i've seen is this the grizzly yep may i open it hey okay <laughs> wow it's pretty cool isn't it yeah man the, i uh, love this i can't believe there are steps yeah. that go up to the roof that's very so cool. awesome yeah, yeah. and a high bed luggage. back here with a lot yeah, of storage kind of underneath this yeah. kind of the more retro oh, yeah. wow it's just huge in here i love it nice work man thank you really good yeah thank you very much for thank you for letting us, us come yeah, inside and i love this uh gold color stove it's yeah. so retro so this is william schooley on facebook and instagram Okay, this is Lisa. I guess Paul's not over here right now, but yeah. we've been asking the question, um, why did you guys choose to live in a schoolie? Well, it's an interesting story because for the for 10 years, Paul and I built an earth bag home. And about the fifth year, we started inviting volunteers to come and help out because there were so many things to do. And um, we noticed that these volunteers that came from all over the world, they had such a free, nomadic lifestyle that we kind of envied so we we kind of um, over time decided that the house was just um, too much and we loved to travel just like these nomadic volunteers that came so um, yeah we decided to sell our earth bag home and our 20 acres in Arkansas and get a 40-foot bluebird bus and take off for the open wow. road and we've loved it ever since and that was over a year ago so this is our second school Calusa and it's having a fantastic time love it and and we've met so many beautiful people including you guys so um, yeah we appreciate you guys and 
um, yeah, come on in. Well, thank you. That is a super great story. I love it. <laughs> I've seen this bus before, so I know. <laughs> it is absolutely exquisite. This is the Bacienda. Oops, so we cut. decided to kind of leave it as open as possible. And we tried to use as many recycled materials as possible also. So um, this is all pallet wood. It's been sanded and um, just a little beeswax on there. Um, this is the living area and the dining area. Let me turn some lights on so we can actually see. Kitchen area, we've got a beautiful walnut countertop that Paul did. He just, I love this. It's just the perfect height and you don't really need a lot of space. So this works great for us. Um, just put a little extra money into the faucet because it's worth it. <laughs> right, so you can move yeah. that spray of water around. <laughs> right, right. And the cabinet was a oops cabinet, so we got that super cheap. The little um, stove, apartment size stove, we went across the border and picked that up in Mexico. Uh, about half the price as, as what it is in the U.S. And um, so, yeah, I mean, it's pretty basic and it works for us. We're super comfy. It's plenty of space. Yeah. No, to this move is around. a very comfortable build. And I know from experience, when Paul and Lisa were parked right next to us, we could tell a temperature difference in walking in our bus or mm -hmm. walking in Paul and Lisa's bus. Your bus was much warmer to walk what into than what our bus. Okay. Yeah, so we oh, can okay. really tell a difference with the huh. insulated walls. Yeah, you can't yeah. tell here at School yeah. Palooza, but when we were right. in Stockton Pass, right, we could right. feel the when difference. When it's cold, because we heavily yes. insulated above, yeah. on the sides we have six inches above, I'd say about, I don't know, uh, Reflectix, and then regular insulation, and then another layer of Reflectix. Uh -huh. Plus all the solar panels help to shade it, and we've got 2,500 watts of solar because I want to run my Instapot <laughs> and my Ninja Blender and, Priorities. and air conditioner. We got a little window unit back in the bedroom, so come on back. I'll, um, sure. So the bathroom still needs a lot of work. I'm going to do some tile. I was totally in inspired by all of your tile work. So oh, this awesome. is all going to get changed out. But so, we, okay. we so use a simple um, format right yeah, now. Yeah, we have a cassette toilet and a shower pan and a regular shower head on demand hot water heater. A uh, full size fridge, and this is just storage, more storage over here, plus all my art supplies. And then the bedroom is pretty spacious. Um, yes, but yeah, luckily we can, and we might need it today with the air conditioner. <laughs> we've had the heater on, we've got a diesel heater, so we've had that on for a few days. But um, so yeah, it's nice to have a little window unit, and, and it works great. So, we, again, if you have enough solar, you can do that. And we have a big battery bank, so that helps too. So, right, yes. So, yeah. It's, yeah, um, this is an awesome, very spacious bedroom. You can just completely turn around in here and have right. space all the way around you. Right. So. And, and probably the fan needs to go up because it's, so, it's kind of heated up today. Yeah, I can't believe how yeah. warm it is here. Oh. I mean, I know about Arizona winters, but it's much warmer here than where we live. <laughs> Right. Well, it just warmed up today because I've yeah. been wearing a heavy jacket. Oh. Um, this is a solar cabinet, and I'm really proud how Paul really spent a lot of time and research, and our home was off-grid, so that kind of got us broke into living off-grid. But um, I think he just did a really, a really great job in yeah. setting everything up. It looks all nice and neat and wonderful. Yeah, it's because all the wires are hidden in the back. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah. It's Put a wonderful home. Right there. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for yes. the tour. We appreciate it. We appreciate you guys. Oh, and thanks. So happy that we met you guys on the road and um, we have so much in common. And I know. It was so fun to see wow. you again after spending time before yeah. a month or two ago, whenever that was. Right, right. <laughs> I've lost so track of time now. Here we are again, and I have yeah. a feeling we're going to be seeing each other on the road. Yeah, on a regular basis. Right. Which is super cool. Because I really want to keep following the artwork that's happening on the outside of your bus. Oh, well, it might <laughs> Let's take go a couple years. Let's so go stick around. <laughs> we're going to go check that out right now. <laughs> so here's where the artwork starts so far. That's right. You better say, better yeah. be a guy in the picture. <laughs> and here's what she's if been if working man, on not with your woman, now guys during the school of Palooza. <laughs> Didn't that happen Isn't this amazing? Back? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. 
It's been so fun to watch things take, take shape that weren't here before. <laughs> Super cool. Alrighty, thank you guys. Thanks guys. I'm sure we'll see you again. Nice <laughs> okay, uh, you too. Thanks. Bye bye. This is one of my favorite buses here at Scooby Palooza that I've been waiting to see. We've been wanting to see the inside of this thing. Yeah, sure. Uh, Audrey, it's presentable. Two minutes, she's going to dress up. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I've been hearing about this. It's so <laughs> fun to see it in real life. Oh, oh my god! I'm gonna make some more lights for you here at the back. It is beautiful. Wow, really clean. You guys did this yourself? Yeah, we did everything. Nice work. Very nice work. I kind of like um, how wide open the floor space looks with a table and chairs instead of a dinette. Mm -hmm. Like the dinette like kind of fills up all the space and this just makes it seem like you have twice and the look, floor space. Yeah. Now this is just a regular couch or is it pulled out? It's, it's pulled out. Well, okay. It's a, it's it's a like double a drawer, bed. Right? Okay, sure. Welcome. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. What is this? Ah, uh, this is, how does it call them? Thermal plastic? Thermal plastic? Is it you coated the piece of wood yourself? No, no, that's, uh, so we, we made Not a measurement and we ordered. You built all of this? Yeah, it's all custom made, so, but uh, inside it's uh, melamine. You can open. You yes. Uh-huh. Melanine. Uh, melamine. Uh, and the exterior is, uh... Like, we had to make it round. Oh, yeah, for sure. So nice. I remember. You made all this, though. Uh, Sam with his cousin. Okay, very yeah. good. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, the only, like, we got lots of help, but uh, we, we did everything ourselves, uh, but we got lots of help for the ca kitchen cabinet. Mm -hmm. These are beautiful. Very truly, neat. truly beautiful. Like, it's such a clean, clean build. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look, they got the same, but in white. Oh my gosh, I love your unique. refrigerator. Yeah, it's 12 volts. There was the, oh, it is? Yeah, every, mm -hmm. everything works works on solar pa solar panel mm -hmm. uh, but we we still have inverter charger mm -hmm. for the to charge the computers and if I want to use my blender right right yeah we but do this too. is 12 volts Wow, Look. that makes 12 volt version. Oh, like, is that a huge closet? I have too many clothes here. She does too. Look, that is a stuff. wonderful closet. Like, and all and the we, drawers down we there. We both have our section. So this is Sam and this is where I keep like my pajamas and stuff. Like girl stuff. It looks like yours like comes over too far. Oh, <laughs> that's how it is with a girl. <laughs> 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 Oh, and you did what we did. You did the uh, diverter down to a tank. Yeah. Way better. Into a black water tank. Yes. It's like we have 40 gallons of pee. Right. No, we have a 80 oh, gallons. Like so yeah. Same. Yeah, this is a like That's a clever. Yeah, my cabinet. Nice. I love it. Yeah, I like that a lot. And this is where we put the toilet papers. Oh, wow. I didn't even know there was a hidden hatch oh, look there. At that. <laughs> so this is your air conditioner? That's so yeah. clever. Uh, oh, it's and like a an heater, indoor one. Heater, okay, yeah. sure. But is it, how much solar do you have? Uh, we have four panels uh, for a total of uh, 1,200. So can you plus. run this right now safely? Uh, yeah, we've used it for the first time two days ago, but it takes a lot of juice. Ours too, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Since we've been in the States, we've never used the generator. Okay. Never. King size bed? King size bed. And Wonderful. underneath we have our fresh gallon, fresh uh, oh. water, 100 gallons. Okay. Wonderful. We also have our uh, paddle boards. Oh, let me show you some. You have paddle boards on here also? Yeah. Are they rolled up? On yeah. Okay. Yeah. How do those work? Are they good? Very good. Here we have some more storage. Sure, sure. Nice. Here. The projector screen. Oh. So the projector is at the, the front okay. at the moment. Oh. But uh, we usually watch TV here. So. Oh, cool. And I also made um, isolated curtains. Oh my God. You made those? Yeah, I've made Very all, nice. all the curtains and I've put magnet. So. And what did you use for the. So what is the reflective smart. material that you used? Inso shine. Inso shine. shine. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Very nice, because we're talking about doing something similar. I really like that. Yeah, yeah I like that Really a lot. like that. And it's totally we were here first. black when you close them. So. <laughs> Wonderful. 
I don't know, the, uh, how do you say, uh, laundry hamper. Hamper, yes. Hamper. Yeah. Oh, very smart. So what we did, we just like, we bought a filet and we... It's such a clean bowl. Yeah. So clean. Here. Very nice. This is where we put our jackets. Oh, extra hanging space. Yeah. Wow. You guys have a lot of storage in here. We do, and that's what, yeah. what, what we like about the bus, you sure. know? The shower, you and can the open whole it. shower. Oh, I like that Plenty one. of space. Mm -hmm. Any tiles on the ceiling. But nothing compared to yours. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but we're thinking about doing another build again, and I'm not going to do another shower like that. Oh. So we're looking for ideas for showers. <laughs> Let me see something. How curious. Oh, so this, this is, is like a one piece. Yeah, this molded. is monocoque. Where does ah. this? What's it called? Uh, a monocoque shower. Okay. Because uh, it was actually cheaper to get a full shower yeah. instead of just the bottom. And it just seems like RV size. Uh, it's very small. Yeah, it is small. But, uh, like for perfect for here. Yeah. yeah hmm, we need to find, I want to do that. And this uh -huh. is the first thing we brought into the bus because otherwise it couldn't, we couldn't fit. fit. Right. Yeah. So before doing the floor and we had to cut the hedges also mm -hmm. because otherwise it would have been here. Right. Yeah, yeah. I totally understand that. Mm. <laughs> curve of the roof is our bane of your existence yes and you know if you're thinking about doing a, a build like what we recommend our best shot was uh, for the equipments okay we went to a um, how do you say scrap um, a scrap, uh, scrap yard yard and yes. we bought an old RV for five hundred dollars and we took everything we needed so this comes from the this RV also this the eater, the tanks, oh, that's uh, really? another toilet, that. another fridge, a Dometic wow. one, and we sold it for 1000 No way. So we made money. Oh, oh my, my gosh, with everything taken out yeah. of it. Wow. So, okay. Oh yeah. my gosh, that's a great idea. I think we need to do yeah, that. Yeah, that's not a bad idea at all. <laughs> very smart, very smart. Very cool. I also made those ones. Oh, you made the blinds Does that too? also have that stuff in the back? This, yeah. one, is, oh. this one is different, actually. Uh, it was already a curtains, but it was not the right size, so I I Cut had it. to yeah. And it came with the shiny. Yes. Okay. Very cool. I like that a lot. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like how those work. So you just that was kind of like what we were gonna do, except we were gonna we were gonna have like a little. What does it hook into? Just pressed. Um. Like, we, why does it stay up? Because we have a pole. Is with it the tension? Yeah, tension springs. Oh, very yeah. Oh, that's a great idea. Go ahead, then we should be doing something like that. Two bucks at Walmart. <laughs> See, yeah, that's people come idea. up with the greatest ideas and then <laughs> we learn from you. Really yeah. Good. yeah, very yeah. smart. We could do that. Holy <laughs> Dang, you guys, cool. this is a beautiful bus, man. Thank you. Yeah. You, you've you got a beautiful one, too. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. We really love the shower and the deck. Oh, uh, and this is the cat litter. It goes from. Yeah. Yeah, we oh, have that too. Yeah, <laughs> cool. We have a little fan Kitty too. Door. Are you living in the bus full time? Yeah, we have been living on the bus uh, for four months now. For four months. Yeah, okay, so then our question we like to ask is why are you living in a bus? Why? Uh, why? <laughs> like what <laughs> made, <it>. like, what, <laughs> what made you want to do this? <laughs> well, we went to New Zealand a couple of years ago and we rented a small van. And we really, really liked it. So this is the first thing. But also we were wor working up north uh, in the Arctic with the Inuits. And we were working uh, two months and we had one month off. So we got to travel a lot. And uh, like we quit our job. So it was just a... How can you explain that? I don't know. You're going so far. But it was a ni <laughs> it was the nice timing. <laughs> Actually, we were supposed to do that project in New Zealand uh, when COVID hit. So we changed the project back to Canada and we decided to build a bus instead of a van. And that's yeah. so we, we got just here. travel. Yeah. So we can just travel and like because you travel we have for work. too many stuff. We so used it wouldn't to travel fit in right. a van. Pleasure, so we chose two months, to one do one month, a schoolie. So we, we, we a schoolie time, because do, uh, we wanted to go so diving we to find everywhere. We ask about diving instructors. So we have all our gears on the bus. Yeah. Oh, great. So it takes great. lots of place. So and we wanted also to do paddle boarding. So oh. we have our paddle board. 
Okay, so a bus gave you more space than a van to bring exactly. all your activities to you. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yes. That okay. would have been a shorter answer. <laughs> <laughs> we got there. <laughs> well, yes, it's a beautiful job. Like, what a fun, I mean, I, we get it. Like, how important it is to live in a space that you're comfortable in. I can, like, you know, you get out of what your bus, you get out of your bus what you put into it. And if you put all in, it's such a wonderful place to hang out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and so we yeah. do. We, we love hanging out in our bus. Yes. We don't. You we don't, don't feel like you're restricted to that. I don't area. feel like I want to go. I don't feel like I need to go outside yeah. and be comfortable. Um, I don't want to get out of my bus. Yes, yeah. that's the yeah. best part, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So this is the answer. We we, we feel ourselves at home that everywhere. We yeah. feel everywhere at home we go. everywhere. That's mm -hmm. the perfect. You just answer. change your backyard. Exactly, yeah. But it's fun seeing other people, and yeah. thank you for sharing your it bus is. with us because yeah. it's, yes. it's a beautiful thank building. Yeah, it Great really job. Is. Thank you yeah. so much. Nighttime at Schooly Palooza is a whole nother thing. There's a crazy nightlife subculture that happens here. Last night there was some sort of a rave party right down the street from us, but needless to say, we missed that. Slept through it. <laughs> but tonight we got invited to the Rocky Horror Picture Show, which I have no idea if this is going to be like a live performance or a screen viewing. <laughs> I don't know, but tonight we're going to the Rocky Horror Picture Show, Schooly Palooza style. Is this the party? Is this the party? I guess so. Space disco. You guys, we never even made it to the Rocky Horror Picture Show last night. We got pollucid along the way and ended up at our new friend Reed's campfire, which was a hilarious good time. I'm just saying, you never know what's going to happen at Schooly Palooza. Well, we just left Schooly Palooza. It was super sad to say goodbye because we met some really cool people out there and met some people that we had only known online before, so that was awesome. And Mike's getting a phone call. That's the Van Camp of Colorado. They have this big property with a gigantic, uh, gigantic shop that you can literally pull your vehicle into. You have access to all the tools, welders, um, like all the things that you would ever need to uh, do a build. And they do it on a donation basis. Really? Yeah. And he's like, oh, this sounds like a perfect fit for you. Wow. So we could stay on the property, we can build our bus on the property, we can like do all the things on the property. Are you guys hearing this? These are Definitely. hints of a future bus build we're talking <sighs> about right now. You know, Justin with uh, Gilligan Phantom was like, you're not going to be able to sit still. Pretty soon you're going to be doing another build, I promise. And I'm like, there's no way. Here I am. But actually, um, there's a reason behind it. And we'll probably get into that at some point. But... Uh, to be continued. <laughs> to be continued. So... Thank you guys for watching us. It's been awesome having you. It was fun to meet some of you guys uh, out there. It was really neat to finally like meet the people who follow us and the, and the people that we follow. It's just totally cool. 
This is the, the neatest thing. So. And Mike found his brother from another mother. I did. I'll read over at, uh, how's it say? Shoots, shoots Angle Schoolie. Shoots Angle? I think it's Shoots Angle Schoolie. Yeah. Cool guy. We're like, would have been best friends in high school kind of thing. It's crazy. <laughs> All right. Let's just get some gas. Check some fluids. Yeah. Important things like that. Too. All those things. Oh, actually, I need to leave this running. And we'll catch you guys on the flip side. Mm -hmm.